Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks on Roku Dwyer Boxing News. Let's talk about a boxing story you need to know about. This is not a prediction video. It's just a boxing story on a development that, quite frankly, involves a very high-profile fight. Now, years ago, right before he was to fight Sugar Shane Mosley, Antonio Margarito was found to have loaded gloves, right? Unfortunately, that cast doubt on Antonio Margarito's entire career. There are many who wonder, both privately and out loud, how many fights did Margarito have in which his gloves weren't completely proper, right? In fact, some of his past opponents, notably Miguel Cotto, has openly questioned whether everything was on the up and up when the two men fought the first time. Unfortunately, this cloud now lingers over Margarito's entire career. It's doubtful, in my opinion, that Margarito ever makes the Hall of Fame, even after having been a champion for several years. And understand, for Margarito's commission sanction fights, there's a boxing protocol where the hand wraps are actually examined by commission personnel. But even that is not enough for the skeptics. Now this Vladimir Klitschko, Alexander Povetkin fight has a very important and in my opinion legitimate beef brewing over who does the drug testing. Right? The Povetkin people want a Russian agency to do the drug testing because after all the fight is in Russia. Understand this is Russia's moment to shine. The promoter came in, won the bid, right? Povetkin's people want a Russian boxing federation to preside over the fight and want a Russian drug testing agency to do the drug testing. The Klitschko people are concerned because they understand if there's any hanky-panky with the testing, if there's any suggestion that either boxer has used performance enhancing drugs in this fight, that's going to hurt that boxer's entire legacy, right? Just imagine for a second, if, and I'm not saying this happened, it didn't in my opinion, but if Word leaked to the press that Margarito was using loaded gloves when in fact he wasn't using loaded gloves. That by itself would wreck a fighter's legacy. Right here, the Klitschko people want to make sure that the drug testing agency that does the testing is credible because what they don't want is any insinuation that Vladimir Klitschko has tested positive for any performance enhancing drug after the fight, right? Klitschko has been champion for several years. He doesn't want his legacy tainted. So the Klitschko people have a very compelling argument. They want to use a German drug testing agency, right? Understand that Prevetkin's own promoter has used the German agency that the Klitschko people are proposing. Understand that this German agency has busted people like Marius Wach in the past. In other words, there are fighters, Sam Solomon, who got busted in the past by this German agency, right? So the argument is this agency is a real agency. Understand, there's misinformation in the press. If you believe both fighters, not the media spinners, but the fighters, 
Both of them want random drug testing. The issue is simply who does the drug testing, right? One proposal is to have both groups do the drug testing. The only problem with that is I think we all understand that if either group hints that there's something wrong with the blood sample or the urine sample of either fighter, then there are going to be allegations of a cover-up afterwards, etc. Right? And so it's a big issue. I'm not sure how they solve it. But the one thing I know is that this more than $20 million boxing purse was huge. Right? A lot of money is involved. A lot of people are looking at this fight. Let me also say too that I'm sure the fighters themselves, both of whom hold a share of the heavyweight title, just professionally want to know who's king of the hill in the division. I'm sure they both want to fight each other. My prediction, I know I said it wasn't a prediction video, that's on fight outcome. Let's talk about whether the fight happens. My prediction is that they solve the problem. Right? Perhaps there is a way to have even a third body involved to oversee what the other two are doing. Maybe the two of them will even wisen up and appoint a third body to do the drug testing. But the stakes are high. Neither fighter, reputation-wise, can afford to have any insinuation that they have failed a drug test. Right? That has hurt careers. Let me say this. You never quite look at a fighter or professional athlete the same way after you learn that they failed a drug test. I don't believe this is a media issue. I believe it's a real issue and I believe it's a big one. Now that said, the cynics among us, and they might be right, because history of course often surprises when you look back on it and learn more facts. The cynics among us might make the argument that this is a great way to sell the fight, right? What better way to get this fight in the news than to have some fake issue involving two fighters who both are willing to be randomly drug tested, right? I'm here making this video right now assuming the issue is real. But if the issue is fake, and this is just a ploy to get media attention, let me just say to whoever is involved, well done. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. I'll make a prediction video on the fight as soon as it's announced. I'm looking at some film literally every day just trying to figure out who's who and what's what. Thanks for stopping by.